we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, Aquarius, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, I pulled a few cards before I came on. It looks like some of you, you about to have big wish fulfillment. It's like the universe is going to align things so that you can get what you want. If you've been praying for the new house, the new man, the new woman, the new business, the whatever, it's like the universe is going to put things right in order for you to, you know, they're going to set the stage for you. You know, the universe, God, spirit, angels, whatever you believe in, looks like they're setting the stage for you, Aquarius. They're, and something's coming to a conclusion uh, with the eight of wands here showing up. It's coming to a conclusion uh, maybe around late November going into early December. It's like you're going to get justice uh, with the justice card showing up. You're going to get what you have been putting out. It looks like hard work is going to be compensated, recompense for hard times, hard work, uh, laborious, something you've been doing, you've just been at it, going, 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 going. And you're gonna then be at a place where you can take it easy. You can take a load off, you can rest. The Eight of Wands, it says that manifestation is imminent. So whatever you've been trying to manifest, it says it could come to you. Then we got the world card. So definitely something is a big change, a big, this could even, I mean, a change of scenery. Uh, this could even be travel, a travel romance. This could be love, things moving fast. It's just like all green lights, blockages are gone, Aquarius, um, especially around, yeah, late November, de early December. You've also... Got something, you you are balancing something out maybe around the end of September though. 20, September 23rd, whatnot, moving into um, October. It looks like there's going to be complete balance. Uh, I'm just hearing a recompense. It's like you're going to get all that is owed to you. Recovery. This could be a legal situation. You could get some um, type of communication, effective communication about maybe a legal a situation coming to a close because the eight of wands can also mean conclusion so that ends and then something else begins here it looks like whatever begins is beautiful with the world card um it looks like new opportunity new chapter new book new life you can write whatever it is you want to write at the bottom of the deck you have the ten of cups so it's like yes the stage is being set for happiness for you uh, Aquarius. It's like the universe is going to roll out the red carpet. Whatever you do with this, 
you I feel like you're going to do very well with this. Um, it's something that you've been manifesting for a very long time. Long time coming is what I'm hearing. Yeah. And uh, we then have the moon card showing up. Things are kind of veiled right now. It's like you can't, you might be in an emotional, mental, foggy state. Things are still veiled or you're trying to go beyond the veil. It's like you're trying to maybe even for some of you confront your shadow side. Uh, so you know what to do with that in the time being or the, the right time or the appointed time. So I don't know what you're about to embark on or what you're about to do, but it looks like it's going to be life changing, life altering. The The world card could sometimes, especially with having the eight of wands um, showing up with the world card in the same spread, can talk about timeline jumping. I don't know if you believe in it. I don't know if you, you know how to do it, but maybe that's something that you can Google in your spare time. Like you are jumping the timeline. So some of us believe in predestination. Um, maybe you are getting where you're supposed to be before the time, before the appointed time. Wow. I just got appointed time for some of you. So it's like, um, some of you are definitely moving light years ahead, fast speed. It's all about what you do and what you decide to do. Also with the justice card, it's like, if you want to take this on, then you can take it on. If you want to learn this thing, then it will get you here. It's like cause and effect. If you do this, then this happens a, a, like a conditional statement, almost a if then statement. If you do, then it's like something is going to happen because of something you've already done or something you will be doing with the justice card here. It's like sudden action. And definitely like something just the momentum, it just like how it picks up and then it, it's like kaboom. It's like the world card, um, achievement, success is imminent. And, and it says manifestation is imminent. So whatever you're manifesting, it's going to come to life. Success is imminent. Manifestation is imminent. It says, take the opportunity that is being presented to you. It says the, um, your life could be going at a fast pace right now. Things go are going to arrive quickly for you. It's going to be apparent that this is synchronicity, that you're in sync with the universe or that you're in the right time at the right, you're in the right place at the right time. A point in time keeps coming up. I don't know if you're arriving somewhere, like the arrival of, I don't know, a new you. What is this about for Aquarius? Let's see what we can get. We'll pull some more cards. It's, it's very, very good energy. We got nothing but good cards that came out. It's just like something that you're doing, something that you have done, repayment of debt, um, settling of old account. You may be moving into, okay, you may be moving into a new home. You may be moving into a new career, Aquarius. Something is changing, shifting with you, into you. Maybe even like a DNA shift, if you believe in that, but something is definitely changing. Let's see what's happening. So we've got wealthy man coming up. So you could be meeting a wealthy man. You could become the wealthy man or wealthy woman. Um, it's a 13 card. So it's the death of something old, shedding the skin. Uh, okay. So in meditation for you, Aquarius, I got like a cobra. So when the cobra is erect, when it's standing up and it's all flared up, but it was oscillating. So it was on something that was turning. So I don't know if you're going to be on display or your power or your might or your money or your prestige or your success is going to be on display. You're going to be on display. It was oscillating. So it was rotating. Like people were looking at it. Uh, I don't know what that mean, means for you. Look up cobra and see what it means for you. Maybe it's your spirit God. I don't know. Spirit animal. Um, and then also it was like beast mode. I got that for you. Like some of you have been on beast mode. You will be on beast mode. Um, I don't know. Some of you, I also got like child prodigy. I know that's kind of veering off, but some of you have a child that is a prodigy. It could be a boy. And maybe some of you were or are, uh, depending on your age, if you are a child prodigy, uh, but maybe you were when you were younger. Um, so somebody is very smart, like meticulous, like they can get things like they know how to fix things like a mechanical brain here. Um, let's see what else. 
did I get in meditation? That's all I can remember right now. Let's see. Expectation. I don't know if the you are expecting to get there. The universe is expecting you. It's like you arrive, especially with the world card, the arrival of something Aquarius. Definitely, I can't make it up. A new path. That's another eight. It reduces to an 835 pathway. It's like something that you've been doing for one to two years or something that maybe you've been on beast mode for one to two years. And now you're going to see recompense. You're going to get, you know, rewarded, repaid for the hurt, for the drama, for the the turbulence that you suffered. It's like it's going to be a balancing of the scales. You're going to balance out work and play. Maybe it's been a lot of work, work, work for you. And then you're going to be able to eight of wands play. You're going to be able to you know, enjoy the fruits of your labor. The Eight of Wands is a, a very good card. It says that manifestation is imminent. Synchronicities will be apparent. So you'll, you'll be like, wow, I can't believe. Boom, boom, boom. All of this stuff is happening all at once. Or I'm in the right place at the right time and, and so forth. And then you have the World card, which says success is imminent. So it's just like, you're gonna be extremely successful in whatever it is you, you're choosing to do. Let's see, let's see, let's move this forward. What is happening for Aquarius? Wow, privileged lady. So if you read the book to this deck, and you don't have to, but yeah, you know, it helps, I guess. These are a pair, the wealthy man and the privileged lady. Most times you see a privileged lady, and it, most times, I know times have changed, but most times it's because maybe she's, you know, um, associated with a wealthy man. She's married to a wealthy man, but these two are married in the deck. So it could be that you could be getting married. You did have the justice card. We did have the world card. The world card, world card talks about all things, um, marriage, uh, pregnancy, graduation, maturity. Um, so you could be getting married. The justice card talks about all things legal, making it right, official, right? You could definitely meet someone that takes you to a new dynamic. Because the 13 talks about the death of, and it's the death of one dynamic going to the next. You could also just be, this looks like marriage for some of you. You're expecting it or someone's expecting you. You could be meeting the one. The world card talks about meeting a soulmate, love at first sight. The eight of wands talks about a world when romance, things just taking off, things going really quickly in love. That looks beautiful. You know, I hope it's your story. Uh, this is for Aquarius. Let's see. What else is uh, going on for Aquarius? What's happening for Aquarius? Okay, so they clearly want this in reverse. None of my cards should be reversed. But we have the main female in reverse. So you're going to come out of being number two or being a part of maybe third party situations or a third party is leaving your situation. I don't know. But we've got two women here, one man. Okay. And it looks like we've got a couple here. I heard a thruple. Okay. So somebody's leaving this thruple type of situation or someone's upset. There is a, an energy here, maybe a feminine energy, whether it's a third party to your relationship or it's just a, an onlooker, a bystander, someone who hates on you, who hates you. Um, they're in the background, okay? They're, they're going to see you get all what is deserved, you know, and uh, maybe they're just unhappy about it. Um, we did have the moon showing its face at, at the bottom of the deck now. Um, the moon card can sometimes talk about a person being associated with your partner who is negative, feminine. The moon card is feminine energy. We've got the main female in reverse. Someone who is adverse to your connection. Someone who is hidden enemy, secrecy. Someone who doesn't want to see maybe you and your person together or you getting all that is owed to you. Um, this is somebody here who uh, could be associated with either you, Aquarius, or your person. You gotta put it where it fits. Um, but they're in a negative, low vibing energy. Uh, I'm, I'm hearing that it just doesn't matter though. It's almost like it's um, you know, a, a non-factor. 
this person is a non-factor. Like they, they're not really, um, nothing is um, moving. You know, they're not making anything change, shift with, within you or within your dynamic Aquarius. Let's see. Um, so Aquarius, uh, we've got message of concern and then unexpected income coming in for you. This looks like this is an unexpected message of maybe somebody being hurt or so, oh, this is somebody that you didn't expect to reach out to you. This is somebody that maybe there was like disruption in the relationship, discord, uh, drama, uh, an argument, jealousy. There's an unexpected message from this person. Let's try to figure out who this is. What is this talking about? This is from somebody who you could be getting a message of somebody's, um, I don't know, like bad health, downfall, whatever. They could want something from you. Okay, so the card flew onto the floor. Let's see. Yeah, the six of wands. They could want your attention, your help. This could be help in your business, business matters, unexpected income or unexpected message of how to have success. It could come from the least expected person or the least expected method. I don't know, this could e even come from like spirit universe let's see what is this about with the six of wands it's, it's like i don't know a message that shows you or, or gives you information of how to become successful how to maintain success how to have success how to move forward how to bet on you how to choose you how to go about it um let's see yeah wow the will of fortune so it's like a message or maybe even money that comes to you out of the blue that allows you to have success. What is, what is, what is unexpected message here? I'm not, sorry. What is, yeah. Con message of concern. What is message of concern? What is message of the three of cups? So it's definitely communication. I don't know if it's going to be partnering with, networking with, talking something over, advisory, advice, getting advice, whatever it is, it's good and it takes you to a place of, the will of fortune can sometimes talk about the shifting of social dynamic. So maybe you're going to go into hanging around different people, being, you know, aligned, excuse me, with different people, um, different places, appointed time. The Wheel of Fortune talks about time too, destiny, fate. This could even be networking, dating, getting out there again, meeting the one. So this could be haphazardly, circumstantially, whatever, meeting the one, getting out there and, and boom, you meet the person that is for you or you meet somebody that can take your business or your career to the next level. Because again, we have the death card, the 13 showing up. And this talks about going from one dynamic to the next, from being unknown to known, from being single to married, from being no children to newfound pregnancy. It's a big dynamic change. It's not like, oh, you, you just move from one apartment to the next. No, it will be from an apartment to a mansion. You know, it, it's, it's really big here. This could even, the death card can even talk about, and I just learned this. It's, it could talk about there was a break in a significant relationship and it could talk about getting back with this particular person, but it's going to be completely different. There's a dynamic change within the relationship. So if you get back with somebody and nothing has changed, like 
drastically, then this isn't what's happening. The death card is not what's happening. You're just getting back with them. So it's like the shedding of old skin, outworn, outdated loyalty to you fill in the blank. It's no longer going to exist. Um, this is new you. This is, is it's literally, you know, new phone. Who this? Like, it's like a whole new life. It's, it's everything. The death card is not particularly a death. You got the eight of wands showing up again. Also, whatever is happening here is happening fast. And back to Aquarius, some of you like timeline jumping. If you believe in that, if you believe in preordain or predestination, you are getting to that time period, that destiny a lot faster than expected of you of the heavens of the universe. They thought you'd get there in 15 years. You got there in five. It, I don't know. It's something that you've done or you're doing because you have the justice card and it talks about cause and effect. You, you made this happen. You did something and this is the effect. It's tectonic. It's, it's a tectonic breach of a, a, a major, Oh, I don't know. Like, a, oh, I'm hearing like wormhole, like, a, a, I don't know. It's like you, you really are moving light years ahead, Aquarius. I don't know. It's something you're learning that you're doing. It's something that you prayed for manifest prayer manifestation, pretty synonymous with one another, whatever word you want to use. I don't know. Let's see what else is going on. Memories, Aquarius. So memories, um, memories Me oh wow they just gave me that so some of you are remembering maybe a past life if you believe in that um that you could even be this could even talk about with these two cards here unlocking different parts of the brain like you're using the you're into some stuff here aquarius um like you're using different parts of the brain um you, there's like a, a shifting and unlocking of, I don't even know how to put it into words. Um, you're remembering things like your memory is on point. You're also dealing with the memory of, I don't know. It's like, Something is coming full circle for you. You could be remembering things from your childhood and it's making sense now. It didn't make sense then. It's making sense now. It's like, again, with the eight of wands, synchronicity is so apparent. It's like, so it's like everything is falling in line. It's in sync. It's like you can, it's like a puzzle and you've, you've, you know, you finished the puzzle. You got one last piece. Memories are going to be a big, you know, big deal here for you, Aquarius. Let's see. Whoa. I just tried to shuffle and this came out. Windfall. You do have some big money cards here or like a big dream. Windfall could be good luck, a windfall of just good luck, good things coming to you. And of course, we think we say windfall and we immediately think of money and it could very well be that. Okay. So you could be getting a windfall, money, good luck, abundance, just more than enough uh, coming to you, Aquarius. You could be winning something or the, uh, the uh, settlement comes in, uh, you settle on something, uh, whatever it may be, whether it's divorce or it's a lawsuit of some sort, um, tectonic breach, windfall. What is this? Family changes now showing up. This could talk about divorce, marriages. I don't know, whatever you're about to marry yourself to, whether it be a person, place, or thing, Aquarius, it's great. It's not just good, it's great. Like, you could even be getting like a windfall of good ideas. Like, I don't know, like little gems being kind of like just placed in your mind. I don't know what is happening for you, but 
every it's all good new exercise program wanted to show itself also some of you of course this could be on the mundane it's you going to start a new exercise program but you could be exercising something new in your in your life like again back to i don't know if you're doing something with the brain with how you think your mind downloads dna um up grade up leveling i don't know what you're doing but whatever it is it brings about big changes whatever you've been manifesting is coming to i'm hearing hold on wait hold on wait you don't think it's coming because you're still in that veil the moon card like things are still kind of foggy and veiled to you and it's like what well, what's happening next you know it's kind of like you just walking in the dark um and it be it might be because the universe is not giving you all the secrets right now you know you don't need to know everything imagine if you knew everything yeah nobody wants that type of burden <laughs> nobody you know um aquarius is the sign of i know but we're also wise enough to know that we don't need to know everything and we don't know everything um You could be getting that new house, that new, I don't know. Aquarius, it's like all things new. Think of everything that you want, you've been praying for. Hell, it could be coming into you um, very soon. Three months. For some of you, it's like you're going to see the, you're going to see things shaping up within three months. It could be sooner, but definitely three months. Okay. Let's see where you are. Who are you in the angels and ancestor deck? This is such a good reading, Aquarius. Let's see. You, this came out yesterday. So I did this really long reading for Aquarius yesterday. It was really good, but Mercury retrograde. I stopped the reading. Well, I finished it and then I went to upload and it was gone. So anyway. Um, protection guardian, drop your shields. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you, okay, so if you're dropping your shield, either you were holding the line, you were on the front line. Some of you could be in the medical profession. Uh, you could be in the military profession, or you were just really um, beast mode. You were really going at it. You were really working, just pounding away. And the universe is saying, drop your shields drop it you don't have to do this anymore you're about to get recompense you're about to get reward recovering re 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 so it means that it was already yours it belonged to you back then back yesteryear in the past life you're about to get rewarded for it the eight of wands talks about reward for hard work ten of cups reward for hard work justice card karma what you put out is coming back to you. So it's like Aquarius. It's like the universe has this like repeating theme of, hey, you can stop now. You can slow down now. You can drop your shield. That's beautiful. Um, let's see. Let's close Aquarius out with what deck? That deck is kind of karmic. I don't really want to use that one. Um, let's see if we can get a repeating theme. Okay, yeah, so let's see in this deck. Oh, they said use the shells. Okay, so we'll use some shells. Let's see. What do we have for Aquarius? What do we, okay, I, so Aquarius can't make it up. We've got abundance. I don't know if you can see that. We've got abundance. So abundance is just more than enough. So you think of what you want to have more than enough of more than enough you can give some away you can use yours you can you're just gonna have more than enough more than enough love joy money peace more than enough abundance is coming to you abundance is for you because you're in god god is abundance wow spiritual can't make it up you've done something like spiritual i'm hearing like recompense you've you you've paid it you've paid it forward you paid enough the just, justice card can also talk about 
repayment of debt, karmic debt also. So maybe you've paid off the karmic debt. Wow. You're going to get a message. And we talked about that, um, that message of concern, but it looked like it was a message that came to you that then like, um, helped you, helped you shift. It was help. Six of wands can talk about help in business. Business could be your career, but help in business, you know, help in moving forward. Wow. And then we got the last shell closure. So something is definitely closing out for you, Aquarius. The eight of wands can talk about conclusion, the end, right? You go to a play and they come out and they say, and that's the conclusion of act one. They're not going to go back to act one. They're going to go to act two. And then you have the world card. So something is definitely concluding. And then we, now we have act two. We have new life, the world card. We have graduation. We have manifestation. We have timeline jumping. We have marriage. We have babies. We have, you know, all things good. We have you learning the lesson of all of the other major arcana. We have an ascendant being. We have this. You think of all things good. It's just like just moving up. So Aquarius, this is really good. I hope that you took something from this reading. If you did and you would like to get a reading with me, you can find my website uh, in the bio. If you're there on Instagram, if you're here on YouTube, then it's in the description box. Uh, thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care. And um, yeah, more readings to come.